the very first thing I want to do is thank you all for being here. I am just so overwhelmed that so many of you made it today. You cannot imagine what it's like to be sitting in a meeting, checking your email occasionally because you're watching the weather, and seeing email after email. Sorry, can't make it. It's snowing. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's too late to call it off. We're going to go. But as I've said to a couple of people tonight, I know who my fair weather friends aren't. <laughs> and that's you. You are my friends for life. Thank you for coming. Two other thank yous I want to make uh, right now. Uh, Randy Cohn, the owner of this hotel, this beautiful facility, who graciously shared this space with all of us. Randy, if you're here, I know I saw you before. Thank you very much. And Phil Hoagland from Searsville Manor, who, de who um, donated the food to us. So please eat something, eat a lot, because we were counting on great weather and got a lot of food, so stop yourselves. All right, now, what you're here to really hear about tonight is why I'm running for mayor. Frederick is on the cusp of transcending to greatness, but during the last several years, we've been in a holding pattern. As a community, we have the ability to make a major transition that will result in a second great renaissance. It will take a clearly articulated vision and strong leadership to shift gears and move in that direction. Now is the time to move Frederick forward on our path to greatness. I believe that I am uniquely qualified to communicate that vision, gain strong community involvement, and implement steadfastly. <coughs> this journey is very important, and I am confident that I know what it will take to get us there. Therefore, I am announcing my candidacy for mayor in the 2013 municipal election. As Frederick is on the cusp, so am I. I am ready and I'm prepared to take on the major challenge that involves Frederick's future. There are four things that I would like to cover in my additional comments this evening. First, my vision for Frederick. Secondly, some of our challenges in the near future. Why I believe I'm qualified to lead Frederick forward. And finally, a little bit about who I am. Not my bio, but more importantly, what are my core values? What makes me tick? Let me tell you what I mean by vision. As I mentioned before, Frederick is at the crossroads of experiencing our next major renaissance. We have the potential to become a major regional employment center where the majority of our residents have the opportunity to work in fulfilling jobs right here at home in Frederick. We will accomplish this through industry diversity, a business-friendly environment, numerous public-private partnerships, and a workforce that's trained for the growth industries of the future. Identifying strong alternative funding strategies for our roads as well as transit at, will be a guiding, more efficient investment in mixed-use neighborhoods, and it will help us further attract and retain businesses and employees. With our increased local prosperity, we will be able to augment critical transportation and infrastructure projects that will keep our citizens moving in an environmentally friendly 
and efficient manner. Our leadership in creating zero energy homes and energy self-sufficiency will earn us the title of the Emerald City. Well-planned and well-thought-out growth will enhance our tax base and our economy. Areas like Riverside, East Frederick Rising, and the Golden Mile will be developed and redeveloped in a citizen-inclusive manner to foster participation, healthy growth, and community connectivity. Our neighborhoods will be safe, clean, green, and more community-oriented. Our schools and hospitals will be ranked among the best in our nation. We will be the place of choice to raise a family. Our rich historical heritage and our robust arts community will not only augment the quality of life for our residents, but it will also attract travelers from all over the world. We will continue to enhance the vibrancy of the expanded downtown as the heart and backbone of Frederick City and Frederick County. Our citizens who are actively engaged in the community will be given tools to inspect and evaluate government performance. Thus, they'll be our greatest ambassadors. We will increasingly utilize microdata for problem prevention rather than the more costly model of repair. Our publicly elected officials will be respected as highly visionary leaders. Our ability to create a city that is financially strong and environmentally responsible with a great quality of life will repeatedly earn us the recognition as one of the best places to live and work in America. We will accomplish this vision by building work groups that include city staff and community representatives. We will prioritize action steps and start with the low-hanging fruit. While this vision may take a few years for complete accomplishment, we will fine-tune the vision, develop the action plan, and implement the first phase in the next administration. Although I have a strong strategic orientation, I'm also capable of getting things done in an efficient and effective manner. I like to compare my management approach with the way that my eyesight is corrected. One eye is corrected for di distance and the other eye is corrected for close up. If you're over 50, the uh, term monovision probably resonates with you. Speaking of the near term, we still have a lot of work to do. The most common concerns that I hear from, con from citizens are the need to keep our taxes down, further economic development that will result in more higher paying jobs, keeping our community safe and healthy, alleviating traffic congestion, repairing our roads and bridges, eliminating blighted properties, protecting the environment, and encouraging citizen input and participation. Hopefully, I've addressed some of the action steps for these issues in my vision, but our campaign will be dedicated to offering more detailed and complete solutions to meet all of these challenges. As the second largest city in the state, Frederick must have strong leadership. I believe that leadership boils down to these six fundamental principles. A leader must have a strong vision and be able to effectively communicate and articulate that vision. A leader must be able to inspire and motivate others to act. A leader must model the way with his or her behavior. A leader must provide direction and then enable others to make decisions and implement them. 
A leader must ask tough questions and challenge the process. And finally, a leader must achieve and celebrate success. My education and experience opened doors for me in positions at some of America's Fortune 100 companies. In addition, this education has inspired a lifelong thirst for ideas and knowledge, which I've used not only to implement innovation in the workplace, but also to meet the challenges of my community. The city of Frederick is a large organization. Its chief executive officer should have experience in how large organizations run effectively. My experience in large corporations has influenced me on the importance of good communications, cross-organizational cooperation, best practices in human resource management, and responsible financial management. Moreover, I truly understand the difference between a chief operations officer and a chief executive officer. In addition to my previous management experience, training, and community service, my tenure as an alderman has been invaluable. And Michael O'Connor, thank you for being here tonight. I want to point out and recognize and thank one of my colleagues and fellow elected officials. It has taught me the importance of teamwork. Oh, and Shelly Loy is here too. <laughs> She's, oh, there she is. Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Working with these wonderful folks, it's taught me the importance of teamwork, collaboration, and professional discourse. Having this vantage point, I understand that communication must be strong and continuous, and I will seek our Alderman's Council early and often. I have served in, a, in leadership capacities in both state with both state and regional partners, serving on the board of directors of the Maryland Municipal League, as well as a member and past vice chair of its legislative committee, has enabled me to bring best practice information back to Frederick. As the cur current chairman of the board of the Washington Council of Government, I've made many regional alliances in an effort to respond to regional challenges. These relationships have enabled me to gather resources and support for Frederick Initiatives. Before I close, I want to give you a glimpse of my core values. This story starts a hundred years ago when my grandfather was smuggled out of Eastern Europe in order to escape religious persecution. The stories that he told me as a child were filled with respect for freedom, equality, democracy, justice, and America's entrepreneurial opportunities. He repeatedly told me that it was critical to have the best education that I could possibly acquire. Because after all, if I ever had to flee a country in the middle of the night, as he did, my education would be the only thing that I could carry with me. I learned these lessons well, and I've always had a passion for the ideals that my grandfather imparted. When I sensed discrimination, unfairness, ineptness, or a lack of leadership, I feel compelled to take action. I hope that I've given you a glimpse of my vision for the future, some of my more immediate goals, and a slice of who I am. If there's one thing that I'd like to emphasize, however, it's that this campaign will be about ideas and the ability to implement them for the future. 20th century solutions will not address 21st century challenges. Albert Einstein is sometimes credited with defining insanity as doing the same thing 
over and over again and expecting different results. Last weekend, the political pundits were speculating about the word cloud of the president's inauguration speech. I hope that the word cloud that emerges from today includes fiscal responsibility, safe communities, transportation infrastructure, economic development, environmental sustainability, leadership, vision, and innovation. As we face new and difficult challenges, we need experienced and visionary leadership. I hope that today kicks off a professional and energetic campaign that will bring forth great ideas to take Frederick forward as we transcend to greatness. In 1960, President John Fitzgerald Kennedy said, go to the moon with me. Today I'm asking you to go to the future with me. Thank you for your interest, attention, consideration, and hopefully support. Now let's get Frederick moving forward.